First and foremost, I want to say, Kalalal, Yahawo, Washem Yoshai, Washem Kakarash, the bonus to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to all the brothers pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahayar from the James Kings in Jamaican camp, here once again with a quick lesson. And pretty much, this is a simple one, you know. Um, learn to be it every day, you know. It sounds, sounds simple enough, but it has spiritual. Um, background to it you know think about it if you don't bathe um on daily you don't clean your body on a daily you're gonna smell stink you know so put it in the context of the spirit if you don't immerse yourself in this word this water this spiritual water you know you're gonna end up having a very stink spirit you're going to your spirit is not going to be as refreshed as what it's supposed to be so therefore you're supposed to learn to be it every day, you know. The scripture tells you that on Second Corinthians 4, you know, it says, verse 16, it says, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Yet the inward man should be renewed day by day. You should immerse yourself in this body of water day by day. When you come from there to the book of um, Psalms, let's pull up Psalms 119, right? Psalms 119, roughly around verse 9. See, it says, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. You see me? So take heed according to the word. Be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Immerse yourself in this word. Constantly read this word. Constantly following the instructions of this, this word. You understand? The scripture says, put, um, put off not the Lord from day to day. So you're supposed to constantly be renewing yourself in the spirit from day to day. Because if you don't do that, your spirit will stink, man. You know, you're going to have a poor attitude towards um, correction, towards rebuke. As you may going to have a pure... Um, um, you're going to have a poor attitude towards, you know, doing what you need to do, being disciplined in the spirit, being consistent, you know. You're going to have poor attitude in doing those things, which are righteous standards, you know. So just like, oh, if you don't eat properly, you don't put proper substance in your body, you know, your body is in a state where it's um, on a high content of bacteria or fungi, you know. You're going to smell stink and you're going to look poor in health. <laughs> so therefore, likewise, if you don't constantly refresh yourself in the spirit, constantly taking on the word and praying in the word and sticking on the Yahweh Shai, Zin, you're going to be a scholar at a women, you know. And in essence, the scripture, is really, the scripture kind of said that, you know, in the book of St. John chapter, I think it's verse 15, says what? I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he take it away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more. You know, every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it. it. means to make it clean, you know, make it more purified, and that it may bring forth more fruit. You know, things, the, 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 the ones that are out there that have not received this word as yet, you're going to be more inclined to be attracted to the spirit that you're emanating because you're emanating the righteous spirit, the righteous standards. You understand? Let's bring out um, two more precepts. All right. Scripture in the book of Colossians 3, verse 10. And put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Ephesians 4, at verse, start a little bit up. Is it me? I start at verse 20. But he have not so learned Yahweh Shai. If so be that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that he put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the, the deceitful loss. So you have to put off 
the form and way of life when you come to this truth, you know? So when you immerse yourself in, in, in this word, you, you, you make dead, you're making dead the, the deeds of the flesh, you know? You're putting off the way of life that you used to go by when you're in the world. You're immersed as a new man, you know? You have a, you have a rebirth, so to speak, right? And so it says, says, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, the deceitful desires, you know? And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Be refreshed in the spirit of your mind. Zemi, because some people take baptism as that um, rebirth in terms of the physical putting off of the, 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 the filth of the flesh. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The filth of the flesh, man. But in essence, it's actually the renewing of the mind, refreshing of the mind, having the mind being, re being um, immersed in this body of water, this is, which is called the word. You know, when you look up the word um, bath, Zime, it says a large container for water used for immersing and washing the body. Right? So imagine that the word is a, that long, this, that large container of water. You know, and that is what you put your mind in, you immerse your mind in, and that is how you cleanse away. That is how you put off the former way of life, and you, you, you put off the old man, you know, and be renewed. You know, when you go to the etym online, it says an immersing of the body in water, right? Or mud, because some people, like you have this thing them called mud baths or whatever they say. They say that it's supposed to be um, healthy for you. I don't know. I, don't, I haven't done the research as yet, you know. So it says also a quantity of water ex, ex, um, for bathing, you know. Um, you have a part down here where it pretty much makes refer, reference to, I saw it earlier, you know. I think it makes reference to bathing, in, to birth, having a birth in a sense, you know. But I'm not seeing it, so, all right. I'm not seeing it. Ah, here it is. Germanic suffix indicating act, process, condition, as in birth, death. The etymological sense of um is of heating, not immersing. You understand? So the word bath in essence does have um a correlation with being born or having a birth. You understand? So therefore, when you when you bathe yourself in these scriptures, seeing you're being refreshed, you're having um, um, a renewing of the spirit. You understand? And I think it even mentions that in the book of um, book of Saint John, when when Yahusha was speaking into unto Nicodemus, you know, where it pretty much tells him that you have to be rebirth, re rebirth, man. Is it me? Let's so finish this in um. Ephesians 4, and then I'm going to get that for the Nicodemus. It says that he put off concerning former conversation the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful loss, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that he put on the new man, which after Yahweh is created in righteousness and true holiness. You see me? So he put on the new man, which is created in righteousness and true holiness, you know, true godliness, that the standards of the Heavenly Father, you know, may be present in all those who you encounter and, you know, in your day-to-day -day walk, you know. They can basically see the refresh, the refresh nature of your spirit, you know. Let's get that. Uh, Saint, I think it's St. John chapter. Let me see if I can pull it up. Mm. Ah, here it is. St. John 3, starting at verse 1. It said, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahushai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Yahweh, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except Yahweh be with him. Yahushai answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Yahweh. Says Nicodemus said unto him, 
How can a man 